Bitcoin starting to rip. Ethereum is having a gigantic move right now. And that leaves Ben to follow along suit up 14.2% today, having just a very nice move right now. This is what we've been waiting for. How far does it go? Well, uh, that's going to be interesting. And I don't know the answer to that. But I do know that Ben Nation is experiencing something of a recovery, a recovery that we haven't seen in, I want to say, two months so it really hasn't been that long but here we go now if you like the kind of content make sure you hit the like button subscribe button and the bell to be notified and let's kick this off with some chart action and you can see right here we really have a confirmation this is a four hour chart now so we have a real confirmation of a breakout right here so that would lead to the next area of support which is going to come around in six to seven range uh right in here now of course um, it's going to be more like down here, 62, 63. Uh, let me pop one. We're going to put a ray up here to say that's going to be kind of the area that we're looking for that we're going to need to bust through. Then after that, we're going to need to bust through one more area, uh, which would be kind of the top of that. What's about 72. So we're going to hit that right there. And then the next area of resistance is going to be right there. So we're going to get 62, uh, basically 72 and then 85 as our areas where we're going to need to bust through in order to get back, quote unquote, on track. Now, the good news is liquidity is over one million again. I think that's something that we look at and and, and we see as a, a good sign. So um, and, and why? What is going on? What's causing all of this happening, by the way? Uh, this is the chart that we gave, by the way, the other day. Uh, I mean, I, I basically drew this out to this line coming back down to this line and coming back up to here. And what happened? We drew this, came up here. Uh, we came back down here and we came right back up to exactly where I said it was going to go. Now, the question would be what happens from this? And of course, this is where we get into 62 right now. So we need a little support and a little, uh, we need the market to really kind of respond well to the position that we're in to give us the impetus for that lift off and get into that 62 range so that we can then start to address some of these uh, other sort of areas and regions and then make our way back up uh, this chart getting back into that 85 level which uh, not the end of the journey by the way still the beginning of the journey but we do need to get back into that range uh, to attract people to lure people now people like to buy the dip that people like to see something positive happening and we're seeing something positive happen but uh, when you look at this you kind of zoom out and you know, what do you see? You don't see as much growth as you would like to see. And it's fair to say that. It's fair to say that we, we haven't seen the growth that we're looking for, but that's okay. Uh, this thing is going to drop a zero uh, fairly soon. And you know why? Because we're starting to see um, engagement. We're starting to see engagement that we hadn't seen before starting to build up. You got Ben over here, 152,000 views on this one uh question with 10,000 votes roughly. Here we go. This is a big poll. I'm curious. Uh, do you believe Hex is a legitimate project? With 60% coming in saying that it is a legitimate project. All of those investors right there are potential Ben investors. All of the Ben investors are potential Hex investors. There's a synergistic sort of relationship here. One of the fantastic pieces about Hex that you don't hear about in our community sometimes is this is about DeFi. This is about decentralized finance. And Hex, they're not on the big exchanges because they're decentralized. They don't care. They're not looking for that. They're looking to grow based on being completely decentralized. Now, are they completely decentralized? No, they are not. However, uh, they're about as close as it gets in this space. And they don't rely on big exchanges or anything like that. They rely on you, word of mouth to make this happen and if that can happen then um and, and they grow they had at one point i think i want to say like a 40 billion dollar market cap in the last run uh imagine if ben does that imagine if ben is at the forefront of all of this and may maybe just maybe uh ben the ben wallet is at the forefront of leading the hex revolution and the pulse chain revolution remember uh ben's coming to pulse chain so you know, this is the start, by the way, of, I think, something, a, a very synergistic sort of journey for Bencoin in the realm of mass adoption. Now, is that limited to Hex? No, it's not limited to Hex. It's limited to DeFi. Um, and even some centralized stuff is going to probably come along the way and you'll be able to buy it from there. So uh, it's going to be a fantastic journey. Glad you're part of it. Glad I'm part of it. And uh, 
This is not financial advice. My name is Believes. I'm always right. And we'll talk to you again very, very soon.